So there's a couple of uh, options for improvement. We could add another feature. I think two, two should suffice for now. It's okay for making some uh, mistakes. It's fine. Just try to learn. Which is how we can improve the centroid function. We had also a funny a centroid that wasn't a standard one. Yeah, mom. It's the minimum of uh, a mean of maximum. Centroid of area would be obviously a more standard thing to use. Yeah, we actually expect it to work with the centroid. Everything should be a more or less standard. My detection there went from zero from hundred to yeah now square doesn't ever give square. We also need to monitor uh, the um, features for each selected waveform. Monitor the features the JavaScript should be pretty straightforward because most of the stuff we doing in the back end which is not ideal for a binary cows should all be doing everything on the, the front front end on the client side then you will have uh, options to do more on the back end on the server side that's uh, yeah server can be costly and considering these tools are free i want you to spend electricity <laughs> and not and uh, not overload my server as much as possible question so if we load all the code in theory should be should have been able to use this say uh, workspace can you explain the link between the files in the workspace? So it's getting errors when uh, using workspace. It's essentially collecting too much stuff or something. I don't know what's up. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I bet it will work on Windows. Can I do? I'm curious if I can just do this send it to a gpt see what it says what the problem might be i'm using ubuntu is this a unique problem get this array buffer allocation error failed no this can't be right this can't be right I have plenty of RAM. I think it's also happening on the server side. I do have plenty of RAM. I think the problem is happening on the server side of GitHub Copilot. You can monitor memory usage, but that shouldn't won't be it, would it? Um, it should be a more simple command for Copilot. So I don't know. Anyway, it seems it doesn't seem to work on Ubuntu properly. At least the workspace command which meant to look at all the open files uh, it's collecting workspace structure yeah buffer allocation mm, no there's nothing wrong yeah it's using bugger all uh, memory on my machine okay so we asked about each file to explain each file let's go back to the javascript we need to modify the fuzzy logic parameters what are we currently looking at uh, what are we visualiz visualizing in terms of the fuzzy logic parameters uh, to change them to we need to visualize other parameters Yes, yeah, so we have the have the membership functions, symmetry and sharpness. 
if the rule activation plotted this perhaps if the x-axis representing this symmetry assuming the same x-axis for all rules okay this is odd and aggregated output of the fuzzy inference process just plotted as a graph on the x-axis representing symmetry so rule activation but the rule activation is uh, working for both is symmetry and sharpness. Yeah, we do need to modify the fuzzy rules to change how the system makes decisions because currently it's making a lot of mistakes. Depends on the nature of the parents. For example, if you want to visualize the input fuzzy sets, do we need the input fuzzy sets? Yeah, so we have uh, both uh, symmetry and sharpness parameters uh, in low, mid, high. Should be able to to view yet the input yeah, it keeps saying it keeps saying stuff is not provided on the server side even though we did provide the a python code yeah we should be to be able to plot yeah it's probably if uh, copart doesn't have all the context Let's start from let's do this quickly do it in another in a different order okay, can we add more visualization that will help us to modify the fuzzy logic parameters the html should be pretty straightforward copilot to change the code so we have the prompt well it's not quite a prompt should have asked to turn it into a prompt. Yeah, of course, we have to modify the JavaScript and in the HTML. Yeah, I want to edit the HTML. Where do we put it? It's the output graphs. We have the input graph, output graph. Why is this two over here? I have obviously a problem of fitting everything into that one window. And the JavaScript, so it's a scatter plot that makes sense. Turn this into a prompt. I don't know. In theory, it's using GPT, but in reality, yeah, probably shouldn't be asking silly questions like that. I should just give it. Does it know of a previous prompt? How to modify the code based on the previous prompt? Now, why are we calculating symmetry? It doesn't make any sense. We already calculated the array, so we'll have calculate. Wait, why is this? We have it in the back end. We need to pass it to the front end. When we calculate symmetry array, can we turn it into okay? When we calculate symmetry array, can we turn it into one number? How is current decision being made out of the array considering we should have a single value for each input waveform? Yes, essentially what I don't understand is currently we have the algorithm searching for certain waveforms through over time, but we need a single response calculating symmetry measures for each point in the signal yeah that's not what we want to do this is not what we want to do yeah i think we need uh, a github for this to already place uh ask and yeah, place the flask first in the current code i haven't made any changes why we calculate sharpness and symmetry for each data point in the code instead of for the whole input waveform yes that's wrong generating super slowly might take a break while it's generating yes that's wrong but I don't want to force it on it just let us get upset 
How is it possible to calculate symmetry for a single data point? Don't you need at least two? Yeah, it does sound counterintuitive. <laughs> the input wave is a drop down menu to select a waveform of a specific shape. Now, the fuzzy logic algorithm should then look at the entire wave and in the output wave make a decision what the waveform is or which group the waveform belongs to can you double check the code and suggest how to fix this issue we also have an option to add noise to the signal can we somehow make sure that sharpness is not affected by the noise too much? The noise is much higher frequency than the changes in the whole waveform. It should be somehow embedded into the sharpness calculation. Yeah, so we don't want to use uh, low pass filtering because yes it will be getting rid of the of the noise but we want to feed the noisy signal into the fuzzy logic and just see how it uh, able to deal with it or not that's okay if it's not we want to see at what threshold of noise it starts uh, making mistakes yeah, I want to ignore this for now. That's okay. Yeah, I want to try something I haven't tried before. I want to generate prompts. Hey, potentially generate prompts from GPT-4 and actually ask the copilot to, to do the code changes. That work any better? And uh, let's see. Let's it calculate waveform symmetry. Let's check if everything so before yeah before we had an array right because it was calculating it for each data point okay can we just have it in the code let's try this let's comment this and now we have calculate wave for the symmetry function to assess the symmetry of the entire waveform sounds better this function should take the entire signal input split it in half and compare the two halves calculate the symmetry is an average difference between corresponding points and the two halves also include handling odd number of points <laughs> what <laughs> it's already like hallucinating i just said calculate waveform symmetry function so obviously taking it from the code above okay midpoint right half left half there are three giving three different options obviously gpt4 only gave one yeah return symmetry is okay turning symmetry just one minus symmetry measure or zero if the lens so it's is it handling well yeah it's returning as zero so it's kind of is handling it but yeah so i like that the prompt is uh, nice and clear but why there's something weird happening like a keyboard thing when i go control i mean help a function find pics find detect these features okay that's legit Peaks, find peaks, troughs, find troughs. Can suggest suggesting couple options that are actually quite different. Returning sharpness. This is a uh, modify the fuzzy logic function. Develop find peaks, five trough functions, take peaks and throws in a waveform. Sure, this function or pass to noise can accurately end it by significant peaks and troughs. Let's symmetry array. We don't need to calculate symmetry array anymore, hopefully. 
because we also need to modify the fuzzy logic function. Let's do it in the chat. Okay, now it's going places, isn't it? But we're already doing that. It's again, always reverting to use triangular uh, membership functions instead of uh, trapezoidal ones. Please check bionicchaos.com if you haven't done so already. Provide your feedback. This is what we do in these live streams. So don't forget to comment, subscribe so you don't miss the next live stream. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.